All right, we're here at Sun and Fun, and we came by to look at an airplane that, well, I didn't expect to see quite where it is. Of course, I'm familiar with it. Everyone knows the CH-750, sometimes called the Sky Jeep, because it can do, well, that kind of flying. And uh, we wanted to find out more details about why this is here. So I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Paul Mather over there in the PIC seat. He's from M Squared Aircraft. And Matt Hines sitting in the, well, we'll call it the co-pilot seat today. And Matt's CEO of Zen Air Limited. So, Paul, why do you have this airplane in your space here at M Squared? We're used to seeing quite a different looking airplane here. You were, Dan, and right now, uh, welcome to the new M Squared. We are going to be importing and doing the final assembly on this airplane, and uh, and uh, with the uh, help of uh, Zen Air in Canada, we plan on doing the SLSA version of the 750. Okay, so, well. That's uh, that's very exciting, and, and that's a nice thing to do on your 20th anniversary, I believe, this year, if I read the right website correctly earlier. Yes, it is. We've been in business for 20 years, manufacturing the M-squared. Uh, we Which a, you have an SLSA version of, correct? That is correct. And uh, we uh, had a lengthy dialogue with Zen Air in Canada, and uh, we've come to an agreement where we're going to be doing the 750 Zen Aircraft right out of Mobile, Alabama. And uh, with this new arrangement with uh, M Square and Paul, uh, what we will be doing is shipping the airframes down here. So we're building the uh, the wings, fuselages, and all that. And then uh, Paul is going to be then installing the engine, uh, avionics, and uh, the final finishing of the airplane, including the paint. Uh, pretty much customizing the airplane to the customer's uh, needs. And, and we, we support the product 100%. We continue to do so. And the reason being is that we have all the design data and the manufacturing to manufacture all the parts for, for the airplane up in Canada. And we ship them to any customer that needs them. And you also have a, uh, what I'll call a design bureau up there, too, in the sense That's that correct. you've got some engineering talent that can say, well, we've discovered that maybe something needs to be changed or we want to change something. You can just go ahead and do that up there. Then. That's correct. So if there's, a, if there's an issue, uh, if the FAA gets involved, then they talk to us, we talk to them, and we figure it out from there, and we issue a service letter or what have you, and that's all posted for customers to view. So that's a good solid way that makes FAA happy. One thing they don't like is abandoned airplanes, if you want to that's call right. them that. And uh, you've been able to assure them that, and they know Zen Air has been around well longer than 100%. most of those FAA guys have had their jobs. That's right. So we, we, we do that, and we, we also support our, our certified aircraft, the CH-2000, and there's hundreds of these flying around the world. So we do a lot of engineering, a lot of support, and we have a big parts uh, manufacturing facility that, that you know manufactures the parts for these customers. All right, so hand the microphone back to Paul, and, and Paul, you're going to receive, as Matt just explained, an airframe complete, wings complete, but not all the bits and pieces on it, as he described. So how's that going to go for you to participate with Zen Air then in, uh, in Mo near Mobile, Alabama? Not quite Mobile, right. but near it. And yeah. how's that going to work? Describe it to us. Well, the, what we've envisioned is I'll be a remote uh, facility for Zen Air. I'll do the final fit and finish. Uh, install the avionics, the paint, uh, the interior, the O200 up front, and then we will do the production flight testing along with the uh, Zen Air Quality Assurance Program. Well, that's quite a bit of the work. I mean, paint alone is a fair piece of the total work effort, and hanging an engine's a fair piece of it, but that also just saves a little effort since Continental, who makes the engine, you'll tell me more about here in a minute, is practically in your backyard. So, I mean, why ship it all the way up to Canada? You should ship it back to almost where it came from. Yeah, that's true. Which so, engine are you, are you using of Continentals? Yeah, we plan on using the Continental O200D, and uh, basically we can go downtown, pick it up, bring it back to our facility, uh, receive it, and then start putting it in. All right. I think from start to finish, uh, once we receive the first uh, airframe from Zen Air, which we should be getting those in at the uh, beginning of May, Beginning of May this year. Okay, May so that's year. only that's only a short while ahead of us then. Yeah, it's already on order, and it's already in manufacturing. Then we will uh, figure about 30 days for the first one, and uh, once we get that down and and uh, get the Zen Air reps down to do our QA with us the first one, then uh, we'll probably do one a month for the rest of the year, and then our goal is to do two a month starting in January. Cool. Well, I want to I want to have Matt before you give the phone uh, before you give it back to Matt. I want to ask Matt about why he picked you, but why'd you pick him? Well, we know that the Zen Air's been around, time proven. We wanted the O200 because it's a time proven airplane, 
and uh, what I call a North American airplane. Most of the parts are, all the parts are made in North America. Oh, I like that. So that's that's cool. Uh, Matt, what did you see in Paul that uh, struck you as good? You've got quite a reputation for a long time. I know you're not going to just jump into bed with the first guy that says, I want to buy correct. airplanes from you. So how'd that work? Well, uh, Paul's been buying our floats for many years, and uh, he's been supporting the customers and, and all that very well. So we have a lot of respect for that. Also, the fact that he's been in business for over 20 years, developed and uh, certified his own light sport. So he obviously has a, a, a huge amount of, of history and knowledge behind him in the fact that he's also a DAR. And so that works really well with us. Uh, the fact that he's also strategically well located in the U.S. for this type of project, uh, being close to Continental is just a, a real plus. And I also like the fact that Paul really likes to fly a lot. These guys <laughs> just fly a lot, and that means a lot. You know, it's, it's easy to have an airplane out there, and it just kind of sits and people look at it. He is always in that airplane and always flying people. So that's really, really uh, a fantastic thing that he does, and, and it, it obviously lets people fly the airplane, and, you know, that's how you sell it. And, you know, uh, it's almost unusual to find Paul on the ground at one of these air shows. That's right. He's usually <laughs> up in the air. we got to talk to somebody else. Exactly. Uh, I think you're like the king of uh, doing demo flights at air shows. So good for you, Paul. Yeah. But, but from uh, a manufacturing point of view, though, it's, it's, it's important that the, the, the people really understand the, the importance of, of quality, the importance of signing the documents and everything else, so that when the customer is getting the airplane, everything is done properly. And, and I really believe with Paul being a DAR and being in the business for so long, I think they're going to do a fantastic job there at M Squared. Well, give the microphone back to Paul, and I want to ask you about that DAR thing. Now, that I know that stands for Designated Airworthiness Representative, but what does it mean you actually do? Because your average pilot out there may need to know they got to call one every now and then, but that's probably about the end of their knowledge. Yeah, most of the uh, guys that call me uh, usually have uh, some kind of a kit built, a Zen Air, for example, and they want it to get inspected. And... Uh, so my function codes include the amateur built, experimental light sport, and certified light sport. So we know all the paperwork required, we know the process there, and uh, we, we've done over 400 inspections over the last eight years. Oh wow, okay. So in FAA's world, it's mostly about the paper, it sometimes seems. And so you being uh, qualified by that. Now, you got to get renewed on that every now and then, too, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, every two so years. They so don't, they don't let you, let you just sit idle and have that credential. You've got to prove it over and over, right? That's correct. They so. have the recurrency courses, and uh, I just finished one up uh, about six weeks ago. Well, now you get a chance to deploy some of those skills in an entirely new way. Well, not entirely new because you've been doing your own special light sport aircraft with the Breeze. But now you're going to do it with an all-metal airplane. i got to feel like that's part of why you wanted something different in your fleet, we'll call it. That's correct. Uh, my airplane is tube and fabric. The Zen Air is all-metal. So they make a great marriage coming out of the M-squared factory. Now, hand the phone microphone back to Matt because I want to ask you a little bit about where Paul's at. There's just water, water everywhere. And you got a little bit going on with floats up there in Zen Air Canada, don't you? That's correct. We've been in the float business for many, many years, and we started manufacturing the aluminum floats, geez, probably over 20 years ago. A long time ago, I know. And we have the straight floats, aluminum floats. Uh, they're super lightweight, super strong, and they actually fly really nice. And uh, recently we added the full Lotus line. So now you own that brand now, We don't bought you? the company, and we have a bunch of sewing machines up in Canada, and we sold them together. So Paul knows them very well and uh, probably better than I do because he's been selling them for years and years. <laughs> but absolutely, we're going to be able to put these floats on the on this airplane and, um, you know, people will be able to fly it. With well, the Paul's down there in the swamplands of uh, Louisiana <laughs> where, you know, That's there's right. a couple of sticks coming out of the water here and there. And I'm thinking those full Lotus floats. I don't know how you sew those things, honestly, because they are just as tough as nails. But yeah, they're they're really strong, very well built, and you're absolutely right. If there's a little little debris in the water, that's when they they really shine. Um, if you have a, a you know a rocky beach, you just don't worry about it. You so just don't worry. Plus, they draft the the amount they sit down into the water, sometimes called draft. Yeah, and. They don't draft much, you know, in that's a right, that's because right. Because they're a big wide base of them, is that correct? Exactly, exactly. And then if you of course go up north when it's winter time, they will land on, on the ice, Hell land yeah. on the snow and so it really changes the way you fly the airplane because it becomes an all terrain vehicle of sorts. It's, you know, it's just absolutely <laughs> it goes fantastic. hand in glove with the Jeep credential. Well it that this really does. It has, absolutely it? does.
Well, I want you to review while you still got the microphone a little bit of what I'll call the Heinz Empire because it's not just Zen Air. That may be the sort of the uh, fountain of the whole thing, but you've got a brother that's doing some other good work in the business. Tell us a little bit exactly. about that as well. Exactly. So my brother Sebastian, he runs Zenith Aircraft, and this year they're celebrating their 25th anniversary. All right, good for him. So they're located in Mexico, Missouri, and uh, they manufacture the kits. So they have a bunch of CNC drilling machines and they just manufacture tons of parts and they box everything together and then the customer assembles the airplane at home. And that's what Zenith Focus is on. Well, they've had quite a good run there with that. I mean, a good many aircraft have come out of oh, the Zenith aircraft operation. An unbelievable but. amount. And they do a really, really good job to do it. So Zenith Air focuses more on the engineering and assembly of aircraft. And then Zenith Aircraft in Missouri focuses more on the on the kit side of the airplanes. Now, of course, M Squared now is going to be focusing on the finishing for the U.S. market down here. Cool. And so the... The manufacturing rights that is the, not the rights so much as the ownership, but as far as FAA is concerned about that, will reside with Zen Air. And M Squared will be, a, as Paul mentioned Correct. earlier, a remote facility doing the assembly. But the combination of this is providing to Americans and North Americans a fully built aircraft in the 750 range again. Absolutely. So very that's, exciting. That's, that's very exciting yeah, indeed. Absolutely. We're all pleased to hear about that. So good job, fellas. Uh, let's get some more information about where we can find even more. We've given a lot of information here, but uh, let's get some more information from uh, Paul about where we find you on the web, and then we'll come back to Matt for more yet. All righty. It's Paul at M Squared Aircraft, msquaredaircraft.com. Pretty simple. And Matt, where do we find Zen Air? At zenair.com, as simple as that. Pretty simple. So you can find more about Paul's aircraft, the M Squareds that he's done for many years, and lots about the all the different models of uh, CH something or other. There's been quite a few of them, so I won't list them all here. That and lots more affordable aviation is available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Paul Mather, Matt Heinz, and myself here at Sun and Fun.